the wine festival, the pumpkins and mums fall festival, the Mardi Gras Irish festival, those kinds of things. We do those promotions to generate foot traffic that comes downtown. Um, we also work with building owners on what the exteriors of their building look like. So if it has crumbling brick or if it's had the metal siding placed on it, we work with them to figure out how we can take that off and take it back to its original structure. We're made up of a bunch of different committees and I know looking through the room, I've worked with some of you before on other projects. Um, whenever it comes to graphic design, that is not my expertise. However, I do have a ton of needs. Um, and I'm sure as you're learning, branding is super important, but you have to evolve after so many years. It's time to upgrade and change. I mean, look at the evolution that like Pepsi's went through with what their logo looks like. So this is what DEP has been working with since 2006, so 10 years, almost 11. Um, really just wanting to look for an upgrade, maybe even some color that would make it more exciting, I guess. Um, we're stuck to the black and white. I don't, I'm not saying when you create these you have to incorporate it, but I'm just going to kind of give you the background on what you see here. Um, the circle-ish logo, when we were branded 10 years ago, that figure was kind of incorporated into all of our brands, whether it be around the entire image or just around that wording like that. Um, some of the fonts that we work with, I'm not extremely fond of. Fond of. So um, that I'm totally cool with leaving that up to like what you guys think looks good. Um, as far as colors, we do tend to stick to more of like the teals and golds and like burnt reds um basically your art deco color scheme that you'll find within like the hall of waters and throughout downtown everything we're ordering right now we're tending to stick around that color scheme um, but again please use your creativity um, what i'm envisioning by this is you guys get to work on creating a logo for a company that is going to use it for probably the next five, 10 years. Um, this will go out on any letters I send, any notes, any documentation. It'll be on all of your social media, <clears throat> a lot of our print marketing that we do. Uh -huh. So that's kind of what I do and why I'm here today. So with you guys now working on things, do you have any questions for me on what you're going to be working on developing? So who's your target audience? When I do my marketing, my target audience is typically women between the ages of 18 and 65. But this will also go on to anything I ever send out. So if we do like, <coughs> if we did something like this bottom one down here, This would be something, this concept, would be something that I would include in like print marketing. But the top two are things that go on literally everything that comes out of my printer. Don't care. I found it's easier when working with creative people, like be creative. I don't want to put stipulations or regulations. Obviously the only thing that I would like to see kept is I obviously want the name included. By name do you mean Deb or downtown Um probably want to spell it out just because what I found it is a mouthful, it is a lot of text, but when I say I'm with DEP, people are like you're with what? And then you have to explain it anyway. So even if you want to do like two different ones where it's just a DEP stamp, and then there's one that has the name spelled out. Do you want like two different versions? One of like the how the bottom one is, and then one of a uh, new one for the top? If you have time and you want to do that, that would be awesome. 
Um, is there a certain personality you want your uh, logo to convey or represent? We want it to be, we're trying to portray downtown as a fun, cool place, but we also want it to have a, for lack of a better term, an elegant feel. It, does that make sense or do I need to kind of describe that a little bit more? I think that that kind of comes down, in my opinion, to like what kind of font fonts you use and choose. Um, we don't want, we're not looking for like goofy, childish fonts that make us look unprofessional. Are there any restrictions? Like something you don't want in the logo? Just talking about it? No. Um, not that come to mind. No. Now the city itself doesn't have like any sort of font like that they like that you would want to play off of or anything like that. The color seems kind of where we all okay. play together right. with the blues and teals color. Right. And that's kind of how we all have our identity together. But yeah. as far as the fonts, we've all kind of just used whatever's been designed right. for us. Right. Do you have those like color codes that I could get? I can get them from okay. you, yeah. And when I give you the color codes, yeah. um, I don't necessarily like the exact specific color codes. So if you want to play within that, Palette, uh -huh. totally fine. Cool. I do that typically. <laughs> um, <clears throat> does your company like have a slogan or have an idea for a slogan that they might want to incorporate? You know, we're right now we're trying to rework our vision statement because it's boring and it doesn't create excitement. Um, so. At this time, I don't have specific wording, but some of the ideas that we're playing with include a discover downtown, that slogan somehow. We're also trying to word it out and play with how it is the past, present, and future heart or pulse of Excelsior Springs. Um, but I don't have an exact statement. That's on my to-do list prior to next month's board meeting. And I'm sure you guys have access to do some research um, if, if you want to compare what some other light communities do. I'm a Main Street community that operates under Missouri Main Street. They're our bigger branch. Um, and if you go in and research some of their communities, um, they may be able to give you some ideas on what their um, logos look like. Um, downtown Washington was one that I thought was pretty nice looking, if you wanted to take a look at that one. I'm not saying replicate, because we want to be different, but an idea. Um, that's tough because we do so much. I was going to say, <laughs> um, I told her it was like a, a double edged sword because, like, you're kind of like doing it for businesses, but you're also marketing for people to come down. And yeah. Okay. Um, we. Basically what we do is, in a sense, four different committees. So one, like I said earlier, is our promotion committee. Those are the events that bring everyone down, do the cash register ringing. We have our economic vitality, and that's the business recruitment and retention. <coughs> our design does the downtown physical appearance. So plants, banners, what the buildings look like. 
Then we have our organization committee, and that's the one committee that like actually focuses on DEP um, finances because everybody has to have money. Um, what you have to file with the state and government. Um, basically, the boring, not so fun part of it. So we we honestly do a little bit of everything. Um, partnership amongst other groups within the city is super important. Um, I don't think I answered your question very well. I apologize. Yeah. So, and I don't necessarily even, I can't even think of like keywords necessarily that you could apply just because we honestly do do so much. Um, we are volunteer driven. If that, I mean, I don't know that that would necessarily be incorporated into the logo, but for your so you know, um, we're a volunteer-driven organization, so I am the only paid staff member, and everything we do down there is because volunteers donate their time to get it accomplished. Did you have a question? Yeah. Um, what's the goal of the company? Um, essentially to revitalize downtown and continue the process. Um, probably in your guys' lifetime, like, there's more happening downtown now than there ever was. Um, when Coach Ganser and I were in high school, like you didn't even dare go down the hill to downtown because there was just nothing there. So just making it a fun, vibrant heart of the community. Which one? Oh, I think DEP has to. Well, like the stance that surrounds it. That's true. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I, either way, I am fine if it is there or if it is not. Um, With the stamp on some of our other like event logos, it's just the outline of that that's used so it doesn't take up such a big portion of it. It just outlines it. Um, if you could find a good way to incorporate it and make it look nice, I think that's awesome. But if you decide that there's a design that works better without it, I think that's great too. I'm really just excited to see everybody's creations because what I'm envisioning is everybody's gonna create something super cool, um, and then I'm gonna get to take it to my board of directors and we're gonna pick one. And we may pick three and say that, okay, this one goes on all letterhead, this goes on all print marketing. So we may have variations of it from all of you that all get used. I think that would be great um, where you have options. We do a lot of seasonal type things, so if we had different looks for different seasons, I think that would be good. Don't have to, but it is an option. No, you don't have to. You can, but you don't have to. Everybody has a good feel now? I think so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Is there like an overall vibe to the company you want to like convey? 
I mean, I did talk about personality earlier. Mm -hmm. But is there something else that you want to convey? Overall. I think basically what we're trying to convey at, as an organization as a whole is like downtown's the place to be. It's it's happening. This is where you want to spend your time. You have options of what you can do. Um, a lot of the play that we've partnered with the chamber on is our tourism website, visitexcelsior.com. Um, so you can go in there probably and look at some stuff that we already have. But Visit Excelsior is a big thing. Um, we want to maintain our local community support, but we also want to encourage guests to come visit. So we're looking into tourism as well. We basically want everything. The small task is create the one all-encompassing logo. And then, like I said, like if you need to do more than one, that's awesome. Um, if you want to do a couple of different designs, or like I said, we may pick like, oh, this person's is great for this, or this is great for this. Um, well, we'll probably create at the end of this is kind of like a style guide. So you'll like you'll create kind of your one general main logo, like one of these would be, um, and then this is all the this. The reason why there's different forms of it is because it's the same. If you notice the same font, same colors, it's just arranged differently. This is probably their secondary font right here, um, I would guess. Yep. Um, and so this is what you would call a style guide, and basically a style guide is just setting the rules for how they would use it. So we're going to give them files on, you know, hey, if, if, if I'm going to use a logo, it's going to look like this, and the, the font or the, the text is going to be off to the right hand side, you know, or if you're going to put it underneath of it, this is how I want it. I, you know, you can see that this is center to the logo here, but it's on the outside, you know, it's not underneath the logo entirely so that would be those would be decisions you would make on a style guide and then we would turn it over and they would basically say okay uh we want you to move it over here or do this or do that or like she's saying maybe you could say hey i want this from this logo and i want this from this logo and let's put it together and so ultimately the final product what we'll give them is kind of like exactly what she's given us here is this this style guide hey when the logo looks in this form this is the way it needs to look you know this one doesn't have the dep uh, badge on there um, so she's not if she was going to do this if she's going to put this on any sort of print material she couldn't just put the DEP badge over here like that's a decision that the designer whoever made it um, would have made you know that's why they didn't include it on here so when we give it back to her it'll literally be in the form that she'll take and put on whatever she wants to put it on insert so, logo here and yeah. I don't do anything with it And that largely, like she was kind of talking about earlier, um, with the different seasons and changing colors, I'm sure originally they may have made the decision to use mainly black and white here um, so that they could rotate it seasonally, I don't know. Um, but that's something you might think about just to keep the options open. We might want to show her, or he might want to show her um, what it may look like in spring colors or summer colors just to kind of see what that, you know, see what she thinks. But. Mm -hmm. Guys, have any other questions you want to get answered? All right. So what I think we're gonna do is we're gonna um, I'm gonna pull it up here. I'm gonna send you a document that looks something like this, and all of you will have this, and so it'll be just a slideshow and they'll insert their design like this was our library redesign of Westview last mm -hmm. year and so each of them put like throughout the process what decisions that they're making so these are all different and then great they give feed like they would ask you questions at the bottom in this note section perfect and then you would reply and then the other thing that you would do would be like reorder them so like this is the leader right now or this is the second leader okay so you'll have like well, I think my goal is to probably have three checkpoints back to you before we present it to you in the committee. Okay. Um, so, like three times that you would reorder this, but um, is there, do you want them to contact you on something like this or your email? Like Either way is fine. Text me or email me. 
don't call. My phone rings way too many times a day for me to be answer it. Stuff up here. I'm not um, really that way. Just kidding. Anyway. I'm usually pretty good about email, and I'm usually pretty good about texting. This is exact at visit eSprings. This is something you might want to put down as well. Eight one six seven one nine 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 one two. Don't text me after nine because I'm old and I go to bed early, so you won't hear back from me until the next morning if you do. Um, but yes, either of those. If it's a lengthy one, I recommend email. But if it's just a quick question, text anytime. Might be one of those book text texters. Yeah. I'll be a book. Anything else you can think of? Yeah. Need answers? Need clarification on? Alright. So um, where will be what will be like advertised? So I put into perspective, is this something you want to advertise like around Excelsior Springs for everybody to see? Or do you want it to reach out farther yeah. than Excelsior? Or it's going to reach out nationwide. Okay. Um, any, like I said, anything that comes out of my printer will have it on there. And like Ganser was talking about with the style guide, I may have one image that's specific to a logo that goes on our magazine ad but we want to have a standard one that goes on to every single document that I print out. So it'll be used everywhere. We'll be used on the Visit Excelsior website. We'll use it on our social media. Mm -hmm. um, and the exciting part is I'll have to, well, I won't have to. I will write a press release about all of this once we get finished with it. So will probably be a picture of me and all of the classes and then our winners so like you'll get the, the winners if you will um, we'll get recognition within the community like look what they can do and recognition for the career center like look what they're doing contributing back to the community the partnership amongst the two groups I will get the color scheme sent to you this morning. Um, and like I said, it, I'm sure you're gonna have questions or eyes, so, and then when they do, just get a hold of me if you don't think Mr. Ganser can answer them. Anything else? All right, why don't you guys jump on the computers and, and do some research on that visit uh, Excelsior Springs website that you wrote down. Start there, and then, uh, yeah, I think, so you get up what, 852, is that right today? Mm -hmm. yeah. You get about 54. 54. Oh, I think so in two minutes, <laughs> that's going to be good.